Here with us is the best digital entrepreneur 2020. Here's Joffy Wilson. You're welcome. Thank you, Ms. Patience. How are you doing? I'm doing great. All the way from Chang. Yes. How did you leave Chang? I mean, how did you leave the place, the people? What did you, what's good about Chang? Well, I think Chang is good. Uh, the people of Chang are very nice people, mm -hmm. welcoming, and they are very hardworking. You know, they work so hard. That, that's one thing I appreciate about the people of Chang. All right, you are the CEO and founder of two digital companies. You have FaithWorks Tech and AfriTech Academy. How did you get this passion for technology? You know, ever since as a child, I got to have an encounter with even the radio, mm -hmm. uh, the TV, and mobile phone. It was just like this internal fire that was on me. And I yeah. kept exploring them. I explored them very deeply. Mm -hmm. And as time went on, I became connected to the internet, even right in my secondary school days. And this brought a whole new, uh, new opportunity for me to research. I actually did personal research okay. over the years, and I've been able to learn a lot of things, connect with people all over the world. And that is what has brought me to where we are today. So you use the technology to learn more about technology because you're passionate about it. Exactly. And then you became a web developer. What does that entail? Uh, you know, we have everything nowadays. People just say, go and Google search it. Uh -huh. But many people have not taken a second thought. Who is creating these things that we are Google searching? Oh. Actually, a web developer helps to create that those platforms that provide this content that we are Google searching and reading. Mm -hmm. or, and now we are using it for business. Uh, organizations are using it. And the government is using it. Everybody, in short, everybody is using these platforms. We are connecting, we are chatting, we are doing business. A lot is going on. These platforms such as websites? Websites, exactly. Okay, so when you develop, you're a web developer, you develop websites? Yes, exactly. Okay, hmm, interesting. And uh, AfriTech Academy. Best Digital Entrepreneur 2020. You need to tell us about who, what you do and what was so amazing that the Bonte Media Awards felt like you had to win this award. Okay, uh, I'll first start by saying that, you know, when people became like, they saw me what I was doing, it was, they say, wow, this is interesting. I mean, you are doing a lot of great stuff and they wanted to learn it. But I saw that most of our people that we have around, they don't have that financial capacity. Mm. You know, tech training is very, very expensive. We, we know that you look at the schools around, you'll be able to say an average Cameroonian cannot afford. Mm -hmm. Well, we just thought, let us start this thing to help people. Since we already have a digital business, mm -hmm. let, let's just put this and, and, and help Cameroonians, help Africans and even people all over the world learn wherever they are just needing an internet connection they go to our website create an account and then they learn and over the as we speak we have more than 1600 uh, students who have uh, who have actually uh, enrolled, en enrolled yeah. and learn and earn even our certificates kind of attestation mm -hmm. and our our organization is ha currently has the status of an association in uh, Cameroon and we are looking forward to training millions of people through this way. What do you teach and them? We teach them uh, based general ICT knowledge. That's all ev what everybody needs to know. We go to fields like Microsoft Office mm -hmm. programs, Word, PowerPoint, then graphic design, web design, digital marketing, and coding. And we are looking at expanding this. We are, ex we are something we are building, and it's impacting people. And we want to go even further. For those who are looking at you right now and like, hmm, Wilson, why is it important that I learn more about technology? Why is it important or relevant? Well, what would you tell them? Well, let, let's start here. Mm -hmm. You know, in your front, you have the tools there. Mm -hmm. And if you, don't, if you did not know how to use it, I don't believe you should have been here on this program. Mm. It's, it's starting right here as we are. Everybody you go to offices everywhere. You go to uh, business places. You go to government institutions everywhere, even on the streets. We have computer systems that are working. And therefore, everybody needs to get involved because these tools, it has taken the world by storm and nobody is escaping it. Now, um, you talked about web development. What are the other areas in technology that um, young people can be involved in? Um, there are a lot. It's a, actually a wide range, mm -hmm. right? Starting from hardware, mm -hmm. but I'm more of a, a software, software expert. Mm -hmm. So uh, people just learning those general skills will increase their employability. We're also going into fields like graphic design, mm -hmm. coding, and we have anti artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. which is like the new thing where machines are being made to work like human beings. So we are thinking that 
a lot of these fields that we are talking about, people can learn more, they can research more, and we begin to have a lot of those innovations here in Cameroon. Now let's talk about FaithWorks Tech. What do you do there? Uh, we offer uh, web design, uh, graphic design, uh, branding, and digital video editing and digital marketing services. It's a whole package to help businesses and organizations be able to get an online presence, be visible online. You know, people are on Facebook, they're on uh, Google, they're on all these platforms. So we are, we are kind of helping businesses get them on this platform so that they can connect with their customers they can connect with their client base be, and be able to have more business. And even non-profits, we have also been helping them a lot because they are just like Afritech is helping a lot of people so want to spread their message. And the easiest way to do this, one of the easiest way to do this is to use the online means. I like how well you say this with a smile on your face, but I'm not sure it's always so easy. What's the difficult part about being um, in technology in our country? Well, I would say, um, First of all, we can overcome any ch every challenge, but we have challenges such as uh, in infrastructure generally, like I know the network we have now has greatly improved, but it's not yet enough. But I, I, just, I, I just don't know, I just want to think positively. Mm -hmm. I just see we have some challenges here in our country, but that is not the end. We, we have a lot of opportunities. I think even more than some of those countries that we, adm we admire, it's still like a green field ready to be cultivated, and we are the ones to cultivate our country. Well, so I'm not trying to make you lose your smile, not at all, but it's just your story. What are the things that you've encountered that have been difficult, but you've surmounted them? What are some of those things? People uh, learn um, from the challenges you're able to go through, so it's really not about being negative. Well, uh, you know, starting out, not having the resources, not having the guidance and the mentorship, you know, you have to struggle. And not even those moments when I was starting, the financial resources were almost zero. And I didn't have a very, a, I mean, a very rich background that way. So I have to just navigate through, try to see how to manage. How did you start without resources? What are the things you did? Someone is looking at you right now with a pen and paper trying to find out how they can do it too. Well. A, a breakthrough moment for me was when I got my first Android phone. Mm -hmm. I started even making some little money from it, just by doing graphics for people. It was all about passion, and passion has dri driven me to where I am today. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the challenges, uh, financial-wise, not having the right mentorship, not having the right resources, or not even having the right opportunities, not being able to connect with those who could really helped me, I had to find a way to navigate through myself. And that is why I'm doing my best to see that those who are coming behind, they, they, they want to get to somewhere. I can be able to hold your hand and say, let, it make, let me make this easier for you. Perfect. You've said it so beautifully. You started with little or no resources, but you pushed yourself with the little you had. If, if you just had a phone, you used it to do research to get more skills. And the skills you acquired, you use to make extra money. And the most important thing I've taken from you, Wilson, is that everything you've learned, you're giving it back to the ones who don't know or the younger ones. So thank exactly. you again. Maybe you have a final word before we move on. OK. So I would say to Cameroonians, if you have a phone which can connect to the internet, then you have a university in your hand. And you have to use it. Most of us are complaining. Yes, the challenges are there, but we have to navigate through. We have to conquer those challenges and be victorious. I start with determination. Use what you have now. Do what you can. Dream big. Trust God. Work hard. And you will find yourself successful. Beautiful speech there. Jofi Wilson, CEO and founder of two digital companies, FaithWorks Tech and AfriTech Academy, and also Best Digital Entrepreneur 2020, according to Bonte Digital Media Awards. And he shared his little nuggets of wisdom. There's nothing too small to give. And what you are able to grasp, take it and use it. And hopefully you'll be here telling your own story very soon.